Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks, and I'm doing this video for an internet friend that sent me this file. And his first question is, he couldn't make this into a cut line. Well, it's still a text. Just left click, right click on red and make it a hairline, and that will cut. Now, that's the least of his problems on this file. First of all, when somebody sends me a file and I do not have their font, this this whole thing is only you know less than six inches. That font is just going to kind of blend in. That might not be your font. Hopefully, it's not. But there's a, other problems like this bird's eye, and if this is for the cutout, it's not going to cut out. It's got some weird hairlines in here. So use the Smart Fill tool. And fill that in what's for the cutout. It's going to just mess it up. And he's also, and I just emailed him back, it's got some blue lines and black lines. And the black is a hairline. The blue is a hairline. They're both going to cut out unless you use color mapping. And for somebody new, color mapping is kind of new. And also you're using CMYK on some of the color. And that might be the file you bought. I don't know. But I would change it to... RGB just by left clicking and when you're that's another wholly totally different story But I thought I would color mapping is a pretty cool animal But if you're normal laser engraving and you do You know, whatever this blue is Let's see if we can Pick what See what color it actually even is you know, if it's not, you know, it's okay, it's an RGB, but it's not, it might not be a particular, so it's blue 255. If you don't color map blue 255, it's going to cut that thing out. So once you had all this together, and I do not understand if this is a second piece, um, that's pretty cool. I'm not going to zoom in on his logo, but. If this is going to cut out, it's going to cut out somewhere in our little figure right here. So, matter of fact, I'm going to get rid of the back just to kind of protect his, uh, himself. What I would do to cut this out, and I didn't know anything about color mapping, and I didn't want to take the time for color mapping, this one needs to cut out. But that's the last one you want to cut out. I'm going to nudge it over six inches. This blue line needs to cut out, but only not so much. Now, this line is a CMYK, several fields, and that's because it's you need to go to range and break the text apart. Evidently, that was this. This is a half a point line. Now, in engraving this, that little line is going to, take you forever because there's nothing down here to engrave till about right in here so it's going to have to engrave this I would nudge that over and make that another line so in what I would do is turn this one red that's my cut line turn these black and I'm going to show you in just a second so everything is now black or red. And I would turn this line into a hairline. And I'm going to show you why. Okay. All the, Well, the interior, we're going to have to figure that out. And I might look at it in the next couple of days. This just isn't going to work. Uh, it's just not going to cut out. This is all engraving. I don't know why they have red engraving. Red will engrave if it's not a cut line. But what I would do is do this all this engraving. Let's say we've got the finished product engraved. And that center is cut out and the stars are cut out. I would nudge this thing over. Then I would take the red and nudge it out of the way and take my black and nudge it back. Now I'm going to put my red back where it was. 
and I would cut this out, but I would use a real high speed and real pretty high power, like, um, you know, like a hundred speed at, you know, depending on say if you, I think you're going to cut out an eighth inch plywood. You could cut this at a hundred speed at, at 50 power and it's not going to cut through depending on what wattage you have. Just use something. And what it's going to do, it's going to mark this line. And it's going to mark all these lines. And, you know, I can't do anything about that. But since it's not cutting through, it's going to just vector engrave it, basically. Then move all that out of the way and bring your red in, your final cut, and then cut this at whatever you have to cut plywood out of. 100 power at 10 speed, 5 speed, whatever you have to use and cut this out. Now in the next video, I might try to help and figure out how to do that, but that might not help too many people. Anyway, so this is in lieu of color mapping how to cut something out that has multiple hairlines. I hope that made sense and thank you for watching.